okay so before i start the video i'm just advising you this is an advice most of the times when you're writing the section you can get help from people right and they are there to give you some a b b a b b c c answers please be careful some of the answers well i am not encouraging you to cheat but maybe if you're in a situation whereby you get this thing be careful with the answers that they give you verify with the one you know so answer the one you know in the question and just check that what they are giving you is correct before you follow them or you can also do your thing just do it and don't mind them i get it so be careful with your answers that's a uh, of geez because some of the answers are not very correct that's what i'll tell you so let's get going but i tell you you can pass this bc very simple with these steady tips so now we are starting from science well i have i have been a teacher for almost three years invigilated for almost two times and i know what people go through when they are writing bc science is a core subject how do you what are the steady uh, steady tips for science now when we talk about science it's just an application you look at the environment and do it so there are certain topics in science that one must know for example a topic like let's take chemical compounds So now we have chemical compounds, right? And normally, chemical compounds and mixtures is a broad topic in science. And with that, most at times questions come from this side. What are the questions that one may, one may expect from chemical compounds? The question is one: how to write the chemical that's a word equation and also the chemical equation for certain compounds and how compounds are formed and also balancing of chemical equation so with this with the chemical compounds take very serious about chemical compounds the next topic to look at is matter matter is a broad topic and with matter we have atoms molecules and ions so we have atoms molecules and ions right and with each of them, we have explanation to them. And the three states of matter, which is liquid, solid, gas, how the, uh, the changes happens. We have the position, sublimation, condensation, freezing, what is matter. So matter is a broad topic. So I urge you to go to the matter. I think, take matter very serious and digest everything you see with matter. Okay, now let's go to the next one. So, state of matter: what is an ion? What is a molecule? What is atoms? And also, with a compound, let me add this element. With element, we have one hundred and eighteen element, I guess. But you are to study twenty element, which is from hydrogen to which is from hydrogen to calcium. Now, with this element, all these elements have their special properties. We have period 1, period 2, period 3, period 4. We have group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4, group 5, group 6, group 7, group 8. So you should know this. And you know that the noble gas, you take the whole periodic table and digest everything. Know the alkali earth, the earth metals, the noble gas, the halogens, because most of the time they'll ask you maybe to draw the electronic configuration. Where one question, what is electronic configuration? Is how the atoms are arranged on the shells. Yes, that's the arrangement of electrons on the shells of an atom. So that's how we they can ask electronic configuration. Now, with this, you see this, we have the alkali metals, the alkali earth metals. Transition metals with that one there. That one is not in the periodic timetable. That's the 20. So what is very important is the noble gas, as you can see, this noble gas. Then you come to the you come to the that is the alkali et. Let's see. The alkali et, that's the alkali metals, right? The alkali metals. Okay, these are the history. I don't want the history. So Oh, 
Um, mm. uh -huh. So we have the Akali. Let me string like this. Uh, so we have the Akali metals, which is the light yellow. That is lithium, sodium, potassium, Akali et metals. We have the beryllium, magnesium, and calcium. So all this and the noble gases we have with the periodic table, we have only three noble gases, which is the helium, neon, and what? Argon. Let's move on. Now, we have something called a farming system. Uh, if you've done a farming system, most of the times, what they bring is, uh, read the farming system very well, mess cropping, that's crop rotation. Most of the times, it's crop rotation that comes. Crop rotation. You know, crop rotation, it's just a process of growing in series of different types. So, they can give you a table, and this table, you're supposed to fill the table. That's most of the times the question that comes in B, C, that is a crop rotation question. They will draw a table for you and they are asking you to complete the table from, yeah, this is the question. This is the question that they can bring to you. They will give you some cycle where you know that the genius plant follow this plant and this plant. So you should study that one too very well because that is most of the question that will be coming. Now, when you take the science aspect, most of them, they don't ask questions about the introduction to science. That is the science, what is pure science, pure, uh, applied science and that thing. So I'm urging you to make sure you go through. You see, when the introduction of science, the applied science, the pure science and the rest, you should read that place very well and get the understanding of the science. Now, last year I invigilated and I realized that now the question that they are setting now on science is not a physical thing. They are taking it with respect to experimental base. So they'll give you a question like, um, a question that came, I think, uh, you have mixed uh, sugar and sun. How do you separate this mixture? So it's separation of mixtures. So you should also learn mixtures. How do you separate these mixtures? Will you use evaporation, decantation, sublimation? I don't know. So with this, you need to make sure that you dissolve, that is, you dissolve completely. That is, you add water to the mixture and make sure that the sugar dissolves completely then you try to filter so you are going to use evaporation and filtration here you filter the um the mixture and you get the water that's the water where the water is a solution of uh, sugar that's the sugar solution then you try to what heat so that the water will evaporate leaving the sugar so these are all some questions that you should know distillation to normally they've not brought distillation but when it comes to distillation you can see that you can find yourself wanting because distillation people don't read about it so you take the separation of mixtures very serious yes separation of mixtures very serious and also when you go to the systems how many systems do you have in the body can you type it for me just comment it in the comment sections how many systems are in the body so these are the systems we have the intergut, gumetry, that one is not part of you, skeletal is not part, muscular is not part, nervous system is yours, endocrine is not yours, cardiovascular system, that is the circulatory system is yours, digestive system is yours, the urinary system is the same as the, uh, is it, um, excretory system, reproductive system is yours, I know you like reproductive system, this word, reproductive system, I thought, when I was teaching my children, they taught me how to do it, but they taught me the course, I didn't teach them, so this, are the main system that you should learn most of the time they bring cardiovascular that is the circulatory system because it's somehow complicated but when you sit down and learn the circulatory system very well you know that the circulatory system is very easy to pass so now we've talked about the circulatory system so learn the systems master them very well their nervous system is one of the uh, major uh, problems that students have when it comes in exam because they don't read it because the nervous systems, I don't know how they see it. And also, the circulatory system, the blood, the blood vessels, and the heart. These are the three things you should learn. And also, know how the double circulation, uh, the double circulation happens in the circulatory system. You know that, the, uh, one thing too is the respiratory system. Yes, students don't like respiratory system. Most of the times, you know, one thing I've realized, the exams, they don't set the question that you know. They are testing your knowledge of understanding. So it can come from anywhere. So you should be prepared for any question that comes. Right? Yes. So 
most of the time to the science particles is physics. Now, now they are bringing this. That is the um, Ohm's law. The Ohm's law states that the potential difference across a conductor is proportional to a current flow to a conductor at a constant temperature. So they bring this electrical circuit. Then you are asked to identify the part of it. Electrical circuit. Electrical circuit. And they draw with their symbols. And they are asking you to identify their symbols and state their, for example, with the ammeter, you know, it's used to measuring the electric current. So they want you to state the SI unit for the electric current, which is the ampere. Volt is voltage. That's volt. It's used for measuring voltage, right? The voltmeter. So all these are the symbols. So with the electrical aspect, that's a basic electronics. You should know the electrical circuit and the symbol and how to draw them. How you should know the parallel and the series. How to calculate. Now the Ohm's law. Normally when it's come, they ask you to calculate. That's the Ohm's law. V is equal to IR. What is V? Please type it there. What is R? Type it there. And what is I? I know you know. You should type it there for me. So the Ohm's law is what? V is equal to IR, right? Whereby the V is the voltage, I is current, and R is resistance. So you should know this. With SGHS, I'm not going to make you um, go through a lot of things, but you should know how to make change of subjects because when dealing with change of subjects, with change of subject, right? You know that change of subject V is equal to IR, right? So let me use note and see something. Let me take pen. You know that V? Okay, so V is equal to IR. So when you are making R the subject, you know that you are going to get R is equal to what? V over I. You should note that. And also you know that I also will be equal to what? V over R. And also you should know this formula. Power is equal to IV. Most of the times I say power is equal to 4 because IV is 4. All the topics that you should know about before you get to the examination room because most of the time the home store will come. That is the practical aspect. The practical aspect. Last year they brought that question and they were asking which resistors are in series and parallel. So you should also learn the series resistors and parallel resistors and how will you identify whether this is parallel or series? When we talk about being in parallel, it means that they have different current flowing through them, but they have the same voltage. And the series, they have the same current flowing through. So series, let's take series circuit. So series circuit. Sorry. Let me type series circuit. Mm -hmm. Series circuit. Series and parallel circuit. So, I don't want to go to, let me see, for JHS. Uh... For GHS. Okay, so I want to use an explanation. Okay, sure. So you see these diagrams. Um, I want to use. Okay, let's use this. You see this. Um, when you say they are in uh, parallel, you see this resistor. I mean, uh, okay, nah, let me see, okay, sure, 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 I wanted to teach you something here, okay, so resistor 1 and 2 are in series because the current flowing through are the same, but when you check about resistor 3 and 4, they are in what, parallel, because the current when it gets to this place, the node here, it will change, so that's the being series and resistance. Now, for you to get more, we have something called Pasco.com. When you go to Pasco.com, you can get all uh, past questions on BEC. And one thing I advise you is that get a book and try to summarize everything. It's not now you're going to learn a new thing. So get a new book, a size book, and try to summarize everything that you've learned in science, math. But with this, I'm talking about science, right? So the topic I'm giving, I've given to you, right? If you sit down and go through this topic, I bet you, you you can you can excel in your BC because they they are the main source and when when they are bringing it it's 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 somehow difficult yeah that's how people see but I say that science is very sweet because science is is about the environment 
Yes. Everything that you go through is about the environment. Yes. But when it's coming to reproductive, I know you people will get it correct. Yeah. I know you people get That's why I'm praying that they don't set question of reproduction. Otherwise, you get 100 over 100. So thank you very much. I'll come with mass. This is for science. Mass will see it. So kindly subscribe for more videos. And I wish you all the best for your BC. Bye.